Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Jack G, and this is my channel talking about my hobbies. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about how I started getting back into knife collecting and into hobbies and um, around knife collecting and kind of survival, camping, etc. when I grew up. So, what's up with this kind of eclectic stuff on the table? Um, so, uh, I didn't get a lot of time to spend with my dad when I was growing up, and he's passed away since. Uh, he was very busy working a lot. Um, yeah, but one thing I remember is we used to uh, collect buck knives and Gerber knives, and he would tell me stories about how, like, 440 steel, um, the, um, the pilots would use it to, like, you know, cut through the canvas, and uh, they would show stuff where they could actually cut through... Um, uh, nails back then when they made like you know ten penny nails and stuff like that with a hammer uh, and so on and so forth so I started to learn about steels like 440 steel and some other things that were like really durable uh, kind of early on around uh, buck knives and Gerber knives and I have some other stuff around uh, the Gerbers that I'll do around um, kind of multi-tools and stuff like that later um, but uh, I was looking for a hobby and I was uh, driving back and forth from uh, down to San Diego and stay in a hotel <laughs> uh, during the week. And I was looking for something to do. I'm kind of a fidget spinner kind of guy, um, probably a little ODC, um, OCD, see. And um, so I did some research on the internet and I was looking for um, some knives, etc. And it turns out they've come a long way. Clearly, like I've done this and I customize it. That's why it's a beauty, beautiful thing about a hobby as you can uh, keep customizing, doing some things with it. So I went a little crazy as I usually do and I bought like a carbon fiber version of this uh, in part because I could um, kind of use it as like a fidget spinner when I'm driving and when I'm at the hotel um, and um, you know, things of that nature. This one's a little stiff by the way, I'm kind of working this one in with the new hardware that I talked about in my last video, but it's still pretty snappy. Um, Anyway, so I would like to flip this uh, on my drive down, etc. So the 940 uh, Benchmade uh, Osborne kind of got me back into the knife collecting uh, world. Um, so this is the bridge from how did I get from here to this stuff. <laughs> so that's what this video is all about. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about this and go a little bit more in detail. Um, oh, by the way, in my last video, I kind of forgot. Uh, by the way, you can put this in like a case, you know, like a leather case, slide this in your pocket and it's really a gentleman's knife because it's not showing at all. But anyway, enough on that. Um, so this is the um, Azulu uh, 440C Steel. So taking me right back to uh, when my dad and I collected. Um, and make sure if you buy this, it says uh, stainless steel because Azulu has a bunch of different versions. There's some great jimping on here. Uh, this one came with G10 scales. I'm gonna do more of a review on this later, but I kind of want to bridge the gap from, I've talked a little bit about this paracord, the survivor cord, um, and I kind of put this uh, custom stuff. That's the great thing about this being a hobby. Uh, custom uh, version of like, you know, uh, I can put my wrist in here, right, and not lose it and it's pretty grippy, um, which is awesome. And they've kind of upgraded everything these days. Sorry, uh, the 440 uh, steel, 440C uh, steel with like heat treating this to make uh, the, the blade area to make it even stronger. Um, and this is a nice size, small knife. Uh, I have pretty small hands, something on my hand there. Uh, pretty small hands, but like you can use this to like, you know, uh, dress out, you know, animals, etc., and hold a good edge. Um, but the reason I kind of bridged between that and the last one was when I bought the Benchmade uh, knife uh, on Amazon, which I try to buy everything on Amazon, by the way, um, because I have a Prime Card discount and uh, you get extra points and you can return stuff for free um, or without, a, you know, uh, them charging you. Um, and uh, it came with this uh, Benchmade knife sharpener. So, um, so I kind of went from, um, you know, a nice flipper, nice quality gentleman's knife I can put in the pocket to really a hobby. And I started doing custom stuff. I mean, clearly, uh, 
this didn't come like this. I'll, I'll do a whole review on this whole thing and how I did this stuff. So we'll get back to that. But um, this came from Amazon. I'll share the links um, with the Benchmade 940, which is a sharpener. And that, it's actually pretty darn good. Uh, even on that 9 uh, S90B steel, which is the Benchmade, which is really hard steel. Um, and then this, uh, I'll put a link. This is the best thing ever. Uh, magnesium. Uh, which you can shave off and it like burns crazy when it takes a spark and this is you know you, uh, Like a flint you can have a spark uh, with something like this in the back of the knife uh, and this is like a ferocium uh, as well um, rod uh, Which I'll leave some links and talk about that a little bit more later. But anyway, long story short and this is kind of a neck knife um, and I will uh, do a video on like a breakaway uh, slip knot and a few other things but, and how I wrap this uh, as well. Um, anyway, I just wanna do a short video, uh, a little bit longer than short, on how I got back into knife uh, sort of collecting and as a hobby, and how I got from like a gentleman's uh, beautiful knife, kind of in the pocket, high end, uh, a little more expensive to a little less expensive, and I can do um, my own kind of uh, crafts uh, on that whole thing. Uh, so I will talk about this a bit more, but I just kind of want to uh, bridge the gap between where I've been going with uh, other knives that we've been talking about, uh, including this one, which is beautiful, uh, look at that hardware, <laughs> and uh, to this one. Thank you so much. Mahalo.